Do you have any old electronics that use lithium batteries that don't seem to hold much of a charge anymore? I think that's because as they've been cycled over the years, their capacity has gradually worn down. But what if I told you there was a different battery chemistry called lithium ion phosphate that could allow you a longer lifespan of the cell? This is the Olight i3T and it is my favorite model of Olight flashlight and one of my favorite flashlights in general. Favorite for everyday use, um, very slim and easy to carry. So I've been on a quest this whole time to find the best battery for this light to kind of optimize it to its fullest potential. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Some more um, almost science, I call it, and trying to find the best battery for this Olight i3T. Now, this is a light that is designed to use with AAA batteries with a voltage of 1.5 <clears throat> typically. However, a lot of people like myself included use lithium rechargeable cells called 10440s. And um, basically these have a higher voltage. So the, they give a boost in output performance, which I'll show you uh, all three of these lights using three different 10440s outside to get a comparison. Output. We're gonna start off with the PK cell 10440 in this pink OLED i3T. Uh, make sure we're on the high setting, there we go. That's the output we're getting. Very nice as expected. Move on to the brass OLED i3T, and this one has the 10440 from Demon Fire inside. Get that on its high setting. Not too uh, different to my eye. Incredible performance from this size of flashlight. Just crazy, in my opinion. Excellent. Um, and yeah, the newcomer in the brown OLED i3T is that SoShine Cell. Lithium iron phosphate battery and do a little side by side with the demon fire cell. I can't tell if it's uh, comparable. So there, this is the uh, demon fire that we're looking at right here. Pretty bright. And then here's that so shine. Decent, maybe a little bit, not quite as bright. I don't know, very close. Here's the demon fire again. I do think this is a bit brighter. So yeah, slightly higher voltage, that does make sense. And here again is the SoShine cell. Very decent though. A big jump above the AAA uh, battery output. Uh, basically what we're gonna be doing in this video is a runtime test on the high setting of the OLED i3T using three different 10440 lithium rechargeable cells. In this brass i3T, we're gonna be using this 10440 from Demon Fire. And this is a unique 10440 because this actually has a protection circuit built in, which means when it gets to a low enough voltage, it will just simply stop. Uh, it'll shut off the light so as not to drain this to a critically low level, uh, preserving the, the capacity of this battery over time. Um, this is a slightly longer battery than normal 10440s by a millimeter or two. So that's just something to be aware of, but I have found them to be good options in the OLED i3T. They still fit um, in my experience. So uh, yeah, milliamp hour claim is a bit um, exaggerated, <laughs> pretty exaggerated to me, probably by at least double. Uh, claimed 600 milliamp hour capacity, 3.7 voltage. So that's the Demon Fire 10440. In the pink i3T, we're going to be using one of my go-to options. This is the PK Cell 10440. Uh, once again, voltage is 3.7, claimed to have 350 milliamp hour capacity. So that's what's gonna be going in the pink OLED i3T. All right, and last but certainly not least, I've got my trusty brown i3T right here. This thing has been through a lot on this channel. I've been using this as the guinea pig to test all kinds of 10440s and putting it through all kinds of tests. It's still going strong, very proud of it. So yeah, in the spirit of its guinea pigness, I'm going to be feeding it the newcomer, which is the SoShine 10440. And this thing is unique for a couple different reasons, and I'll touch on them real quick. Uh, first of all, the voltage is lower. You'll notice it's at 3.2 instead of 3.7. Another difference is its battery chemistry. Instead of being a lithium ion cell, this is a lithium iron phosphate battery. And that is very good news because it means that this battery, the longevity of it, the number of times it can take a full charge and a full discharge. Uh, this thing is, this battery chemistry is known for being able to last hundreds of more cycles than a typical lithium iron battery. So 
as far as just longevity goes and um, bang for your buck, I think this is a great battery chemistry and I'm super pumped that it comes in this size, this tiny little 10440 size. So we'll see if it offers any benefit in terms of runtime here as we do a high mode runtime test with these. Wow, wow, wow. Let's unpack what we just saw there. So um, in previous tests, the PK Cell and Demon Fire did about what they did in this one as well. Demon Fire outrunning the PK Cell by just a little bit, by a few minutes, and the PK Cell hovering at about 20 minutes. That's pretty much typical of what we've seen in the past 19 to 21 minutes um, from the PK Cell 10440. Um, this is still a great option, in my opinion, for anyone starting uh, using 10440s in their lights because my apologies, because uh, PK cell does give you a charger included uh, and you can get these cells without the charger, but I went the route with the charger and a few cells just to get started. So I still would recommend PK cells to people. They're not protected, but they're relatively affordable and good 10 440s. Um, and then, yeah, Demon Fire, uh, these cells are slightly taller than the PK cells and the Shine cells. They have a protection circuit up here at the top. Um, that means that instead of letting the battery drain to a critically low level and damaging the capacity, it shuts off, um, and which is what we saw in the test. This thing was acting a little bit weird, though. It uh, The light turned off kind of when I expected it to, and then a few minutes later, it popped back on for a couple minutes and then back off, and then back on a third time just for a minute or two again and back off. I think maybe the cell was balancing or something like that. I don't know. If any of you know batteries uh, and know what happened there, just, and feel free to put that in the comments for us. I'd appreciate it. But anyway, uh, these two cells still very respectable in my book, but the SoShine cell came to play and really blew them both out of the water. Doubled up the runtime over the Demon Fire. Incredible. I, I, don't, I did not expect that whatsoever. I was expecting this to win runtime-wise only because the voltage is lower. So I thought it would take longer for it to blow through the capacity, but my goodness. I mean, I think we have a clear winner. I had to add in a couple more thoughts here. So I hope this video did help you um, get some information to make your own decision when it comes to picking a 10440 for the Olight i3T or any flashlight using 10440s. Once again, not recommended by Olight, but I haven't had an issue with them myself yet. I'll keep you posted if that ever changes. Yeah, so if you like, uh, just the max amount of output possible, just the most light coming out of the light at once. You, you got to go for the 3.7 volt lithium ion uh, 10440s. They do have the best output. But when it comes to runtime, really hard to deny that this is the best way to go right here. The lithium ion phosphate uh, battery chemistry really killing it. This one from SoShine is what I'm going to use moving forward. I am willing to uh, part with some performance for this runtime. So that's my personal call. Another thing I wanted to add in here, I uh, didn't want to neglect this. I know a lot of you guys have the Olight i3T Plus, which is uh, basically a longer i3T that you can stack two double, I'm sorry, two AAA batteries in, and it's a nice pen light. Um, a lot of people ask me, it's a very common comment I get, hey, can I use 10440s in the Olight i3T Plus? And unfortunately, when you stack batteries, uh, they're connected, and so, the, they're connected in series and so the voltage is doubled. So that brings the voltage up to a light, a level that the light cannot sustain. So it will, it, it will damage your light. So the answer has been no up to now. Um, I just wanted to point out that with SoShine, I didn't know that these were included, but I ordered four of the batteries and they also included a couple of these connectors. These are interesting. These are not batteries at all. They're just meant to bridge uh, the gap. So yeah, uh, charge is prohibited. Use with 3.2 uh, volt batteries. So they're meant to be used with the actual SoShine, SoShine um, cells, which have the uh, milliamp hour capacity in yellow on the side here. That's how I can tell them apart. But yeah, I think if you stack these like this, or maybe like this, I don't know if the uh, orientation matters. And I don't have an 
i3t plus to try this on so i apologize this might be an option for you guys who want to try that uh, 10440 in the i3t plus i'll say this though um, this voltage is 3.2 and when you stack two triple a batteries together you're going to get a voltage of about three a nominal voltage of three which is not very far off from this so I don't know if it'll offer you an advantage. You may be better off just using your triple A's anyway, but I wanted to throw this in at the end of the video because um, it is cool that these connectors are included. I didn't know that they were. Uh, so yeah, if this video was helpful to you and um, I hope it just turns anyone on to these lithium iron phosphate cells because these things are incredible. I plan on doing some more testing on the channel uh, with these types of cells. I picked up a one in the, uh, double-A battery size or 14500 size. Um, and then I also even found um, unbranded lithium iron phosphate cells on AliExpress, um, relatively affordable. And when you consider the lifespan of these cells, it really is worth it, in my opinion, financially to go for these batteries. So yeah, we'll do some more tests uh, on the channel, but I really appreciate you tuning in to check this one out. Hope it was helpful. If you liked the video, I would appreciate it if you liked the video. And if you want to see more like this, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Appreciate you watching. God bless you. Take care.